Hello you all, welcome to the channel, it's Brad from Radco Tarot and uh, in this whole video we are going to look into uh, Virgo uh, upcoming week 21st of December to 27th of December 2020 and uh, just to let you know guys there is a flash sale going on on the Tarot classes which is excluded to my Facebook page followers and um, through the sale you can get the minor arcana class of, with a 50% off and the major arcana class with a 35% off. Uh, if you do want to take uh, that deal and you're not a Facebook follower, you can find my Facebook page link down in the description below and just give me a message on the Facebook uh, page messages and I'm going to provide you with a link where you can pretty much take advantage of the sale. So with that being said, moving to the uh, spread straight away now, the first card that describes Virgo week, that is going to be the Seven of Swords, followed by the next one, which stands as the energies which are feeding and supporting of the topic, that is going to be the Devil, followed by the next one, which stands as the challenges that you guys need to overcome throughout the week, that will be the Magician. Moving next, we have the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the King of Wands. Followed by uh, the fifth one, which stands as the impression of the people around. What does people see when they look at you? That will be the Seven of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the obstacles which are going to hold you back and down as well. And that will be the uh, Ace of Pentacles followed by uh, the um, positive aspects of the week, which are going to help you push your things through. That will be the star card. And the last one here, which stands as the guidance that Saru is offering, we do have the Queen of Cups. Right. That's a pretty interesting read. All right, so uh, in, term of, uh, in term of the week, the energies uh, which are going to kind of like take you on and uh, make you do the things that you are to do does refer to your inner, it's not even inner strength, does refer to your inner power to, to, to make what you want to make the way you want to make it, okay? And uh, the devil here stands as uh, uh, kind of like feeding and satiating the, uh, the hungers of your primal urges and desire. And those energies are going to push you in the week to be a little bit more or fairly more attentive to oneself and to your own personal needs than, uh, than anything else. Uh, that itself could be either constructive or either destructive. Now, it does depend how you do approach the situation, but these energies can, for example, fix your career or destroy your career. It could either fix your relationship or destroy your relationship. It could either fix your family or destroy your family. That's why you have to tread with cautious uh, moving forward. Now, while it is important to have the, 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 the things in the situations the way you do want to have them, also, those uh, situations need to uh, kind of like give something to those around you as well. So the, uh, uh, how can I say, the plan, right? The, uh, yeah, the plan that moves that you both or you all are to move forward needs to suit all of you. You for the most part, but also there should be something in it for those which are uh, which are around you. And we're not talking about you moving alone, going forward, you know, and tackling with the whole life on your own. No, we are talking about becoming a leader, all right? And so you can become a leader. You need to um, kind of like give an example. And instead of say forward, you have to say, you know, follow me and show to those that are looking at you, how the thing stands and how the things are to be done. Other than that, throughout the week, the energies are gonna be very potent in a sense of that, um, how can I say, 
um, you're pretty much going to be dragged to certain things or to certain people and it will be very difficult for you to resist it. Uh, that is because you are going to have this standpoint that you, you deserve it. Okay? And um, all of those hungers are to satiate it, are to be satiated. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week and that is the challenge of the magician. So, um, we talked about doing the things uh, thus far, doing the things the way you want them to be done or the possibility of doing it so. But I never said that that is the right way. And uh, that's why we do have the magician here because you uh, and the challenge for it is going to be to do them the right way in the sense of that whatever you do or whatever you aim for or whomever you aim for it needs to bring you uh, sovereignty uh, personal independence it needs to pretty much be for, for for who you are rather than for that if you have to pretend to be someone else Okay? If you have to pretend to be someone else and to do things that, you, that, that simply are not you, then that thing is not for you. That is how the magician stands here. Another challenging thing is, to, is going to be to speak your mind uh, for one or another reason or to not, not exactly to speak your mind. You're not going to have a problem speaking your mind, but to explain what you mean with it. That will be also a challenging for you. And the last challenging thing that you may face here is to find the right reasons or the right, uh, how can I say, determinations why you are doing it. Okay, Changing job, why you have to change your job. You, you may find difficult to, how can I say, to argument yourself with it. In front of yourself, not in front of other people, but in front of yourself. And that's why you need to ask yourself, Am I doing it for, for the heck of it? Or is it something that I really want to, to push forward with it? Is this thing that I am going for, regardless if it's going to be a job, relationship, or whatever, is this thing really something I, I am invested in with everything I got? Or is it not something that, you know, it's going to exhaust itself in the future? Moving next, we do have uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy. And that is a guy, that is a person here that will be within your life. I do assume that that will be uh, something like a best friend of yours, very concerned supervisor or a boss of yours as well. That is going to come to your aid in the sense of that aid is going to be in terms of maintaining your positive attitude, maintaining your mood as well, uh, uh, assuring you that things are going to be fine and also pointing you a direction in case you do lose a direction where to go from now on what you should set for yourself as an ambition and how that ambition can become something of a a, a powerful drive of yours it's kind of like uh, giving you the sense of that you you you, you live once more uh, that person uh, finds you a bit challenging, but they do like challenge and that's why they are undertaking the task to bring you um, on your feet. Because like I said, with the, with the start of the reading, those energies can be constructive, they can be destructive. And I do believe that for some of you, for the most part of you, Virgo, you are going to do a little bit of both or a fair share of both and you may construct something in your life, satiate certain hungers, on an expense of something else. Or suppress certain hungers, and that is gonna make you feel bad. And um, that person is gonna be reassure you that you did the right thing. Because um, what I missed to say here at the start of the reading it is that a big um, direction or rather like uh, what is going to be, what, what is going to have the final word as with the seven of swords stands, it is the righteousness that you do hold within. So it's kind of like you are going to see what is fair and what is not fair and simply judge or render your verdict in that particular sense should you go for your temptation here and for your pull or, or not. 
So how the people are going to look at you, that is uh, the Seven of Pentacles, what they're going to see when they look at you. Um, uh, Seven of Pentacles, it's a pretty, um, how can I say, uh, superficial card in that particular sense. Uh, when, they pe when people look at you, they first are going to see uh, a, a subject or a person that it's, it's kind of like contemplating over something. And also people are going to, when they look at you, they are going to see you hesitant. Uh, and that is kind of understandable, not hesitant, but like not being able to make up one's mind. And uh, that being said, it's kind of like this is kind of close to mind because you have a lot to deal with throughout the week, you know, suppressing one urge and letting other urge to go through, but paying for it as well. So uh, <clears throat> the week itself is going to be, for you at least, very, I can't really find a word for it, uh, very mm, powerful maybe, it is what I, can, what I can say here, for as long as you can pay the price for the power that it is given to, uh, what it is given to you, and I do believe uh, having the Seven of Swords once again at the start of the reading, it is that you are to cope around with uh, the uh, statement that no, not all of that power is really worth it, by a large margin. Moving next, we do have uh, the uh, obstacles which are going to hold you back and down, and that is the Ace of Pentacles. And uh, here it is where the key is, okay? That is the impression of a future that it is simply not as stable as you think it is. That is a vision of a future that you may thought it is your cue, it is that opportunity you have waited to have content of life, to have an exhilaration, to have glee as well, uh, in generally to experience sensual joy and ecstasy. Maybe you have imagined some kind of a, uh, a, a very harmonious relationship coming forward, or maybe you have imagined very successful business that is going to having those power at you, realizing what, what to what extent you gotta go to in order to kind of like develop that thing. It ain't worth it at all. And uh, having to withdraw from this hope that you placed into that, into that endeavor, it is the obstacle that may hold you back and down, not to accomplish this fallacy, all right, but instead to regain back the sense and urge for life, which that um, King of Wands is going to bring you back. Uh, moving next, we do have the uh, positive aspects of the week that uh, you are going to, that are going to help you move forward or to push your things forward. That is going to be the star card. So that is the mark of an era of upheaval and turmoil ends at the start of this week. Whatever you have experienced, as for example, a um, sense of uh, uh, underestimatement or, oh my God, underestimatement. I'm sorry, I, I can't pronounce that thing. So that's, um, you have been treated with at your work, uh, heartache, uh, uh, for example, being uh, unjustifiably accused of something, whatever it is that made you, uh, that made your life being rumbled down and, and literally almost destroyed. Now that thing is over. Right. And from now here, you are to see a pretty clear picture of how your future stands. You're going to see that you are capable to love once again. You're going to see that you're capable to, to be lucrative once again. You're going to see that you are capable to be successful once again. And that vision for the distant future, because the star card develops very slowly, okay, uh, in, in its appearance, it marks the era of the end of turmoil and it gives you something far in the future to look forward to, something that pretty much falls within all of your criteria and your ideals. And uh, if that's about a job or a career, then uh, that could be an offer for a, something small as a job that can grow exponentially high. And, Five years from now, you may find yourself being a CEO into the board of directors, right? Or uh, as a, a very um, a valuable asset as a supervisor there, and so on and so forth. If it is about relationship and you had a heartache or you had a, a really bad fight, whatever it is, this is the mark of 
a unfolding law, but it starts small, right? It always starts small with the uh, with the star card. So you may fall in love into this week as well, or you may start falling in love. Not exactly fall in love, but start falling in love. And the star card is always uh, mutual. So it's not just gonna be only you, but also the other person. You may rediscover love as well, uh, or rediscover what, it, what is gonna make you successful and so on and so forth. So it's the, the, the grand scheme here is that the star card marks the end of that very bad era that you went through um, in the previous week or in the previous couple of weeks and so on and so forth. And now that is over and you can pretty much restart your life. And the last thing that we do have, that is the uh, guidance that Taro is offering, that will be the Queen of Cups. And uh, it's, it's pretty diverse, the guidance of the Queen of Cups in this narrative. Uh, the biggest guidance of the Queen of Cups, it is that you need to hold on to that which is stable. Uh, the Queen of Cups is always a, uh, if I have to say it as a person, that is a person who always clings to that, that it kind of like holds their emotions in check. All right and doesn't have any ups and downs so you hold on to the job that uh, it pretty much is a long-term job you hold on to uh, your family because the family is long term for example you hold on to the relationship that can go a long way and so on and so forth other guidance here is that if you do hold something that's uh, within that it is uh, that it is tormenting you there is a person that you can pretty much share it and you know that it is safe there so it's it's kind of like you do have a person that's it's very discreet it's your friend most likely that king of ones that i spoke about and uh, you can pretty much lay it all out and you're gonna feel uh, very light after it it's it's like that burden is not gonna be on top of you any longer but pretty much that's uh, that's the guidance with the Queen of Wands. Bet on what you know is certain. Do not take any risks. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, for the upcoming week, December 21st to December uh, 27, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.